Hi guys, it's Cherise, and as you can see by the title of today's video, I will be doing a Valentine's Day nail set. So this is a glitter ombre with sweetheart accents for Valentine's Day. And as you can see, I started off by putting clear acrylic on my tips. These are the XXL coffin tips, and I'm using the Mia Secret Monomer and Mia Secret Clear as well. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm just going to let you all enjoy this little part of the video until I reach the next step. So next I'm using Valentino's Raspberry Cream Cheese and I'm going to be making the ombre with this. So this color is really similar to Valentino's Prettiest Pink but I feel like it's a little more sheer than that. So I'm just using a semi wet bead where the tip and the natural nail meets and I'm going to be bringing it up to the clear acrylic and just ombreing it there. The ombre does not need to be completely perfect because it will be covered with glitter but as much as possible I try to perfect it so it makes my job easier in the future when I'm adding the other colors and glitter etc so some of this is in real time and some of, some of this is sped up sorry for getting tongue-tied so y'all can see I work pretty slow in my opinion I don't really like to work fast because I really like to take my time and this set actually really didn't take me a long time so you can really do this set really quickly if you actually you know sit down and pay attention and get distracted like I usually do because I do a million and one things when I do my nails So this is how all the ombres look on the nails and now moving on to my favorite part which is the glitter so these are not actually glitters i think you call them flakes or something or shards i got them from 50 shades of nail supplies no sorry that's her nail page but it's trinidad nail supplies on instagram and i just ombre it up there and then as you can see i added valentino excite me where the glitter ombre stops and where the nude ombre starts just to add a touch of gold glitter ombre to make it you know a little smoother of a transition and i did this on all of the nails so it's pretty straightforward i put the clear so that i could have a base before i put the chameleon flakes then i put the nude to ombre it up added the flakes and then added some excite me i capped it a little bit with clear so that the flakes don't move around by the time i come to actually encapsulate it and yeah i just did that for all of the nails so i will just leave you all to see so i'm not talking too much y'all know i love to talk so yeah i did the same step on all the nails
so now I'm encapsulating all the nails with Mia Secrets Clear I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier but I'm using Mia Secret Monomer as well so I'm just doing that on all the nails to build up the structure I really don't like to cap past the nude part so when I'm building the nude part with the ombre I usually build up the thickness of the cuticle area so that the only place I have to cap is where the ombre starts and that will basically build up the rest of the thickness and strength of the nail So this is how the application looks on this hand of everything done, no filing and shortly I will show you how it looks after filing, buffing and everything. So this is how it looks but I did one nail off camera so I actually used top coat before I drew on these nails and I'm just making hearts so I used some Feng Shang Mei gel polishes these are one step gel polishes so i really didn't need a base i use a dotting tool to make two dots and then i connected them with a small liner brush this is by me a secret to make a heart i outline it with black and i'm using different colors as you can see on the palette so i'm doing the same step for all the hearts i outline it with black and then i take a line coming from the top of the heart you always see me do it and i just make an extension to make it look like a 3d heart how the sweethearts candy looks and then I just wrote something Valentine's Day related inside of the heart. So I'm sorry my bonnet and everything was getting in the way. That's why I really didn't get much footage of me actually drawing the words and stuff. But for this one I did hug. For another one I did kiss and XOXO and other things related to Valentine's Day. Whatever could actually fit inside the heart. So yeah, that's basically what I did. This set is really simple. But it is cute and really Valentine's Day related. And I really, really, really love it. So this is how all the designs came out. I added some rhinestones on two of my fingers just to tie in the colors a little bit. And I love how it turned out. So to finish off, I'm using some IBD Intense Seal Top Coat to give it a shiny appearance. I did not put top coat underneath my nails because I just found that unnecessary. So I just did it on the top and I actually adhered the rhinestones with glue by the way. So what y'all will see next is how my nails looked when I was all done. Rate this set 1 to 10 and tell me how y'all like it and how y'all think I did. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Come back next week for a new video from me and I love you guys. Bye. Can't post it out of work